Hey guys, the objectives of this video is to find something called the void ratio. We're going to be looking at porosity, saturation, moisture content, and the relationship between saturation and moisture content. So first up, the void ratio. So the void ratio is given by the symbol E, where E equals the volume of the voids on the volume of the solids, which you can rewrite because we know the volume of the voids is the volume of the air plus the volume of the water. Okay, that's still over the volume of the solids. Something else which is quite neat, this comes up a bit, is just to notice as well that we can rewrite the volume of the voids as the total volume minus the volume of the soils. Okay, just keep this relationship in mind because it does come up sometimes when you're only given the total volume and the volume of the solids. You can still find the void ratio. Okay, the porosity is given by the letter N, okay, which equals the volume of the voids on the total volume. Right, so if we wanted to break that up, that would be the volume of the air plus the volume of the water on top of the volume of the air plus the volume of the water plus the volume of the solids. Okay, this value ranges from 0 to 1. Okay, and if you think about it, if we have no voids, right, we're going to have 0 on the top, which makes our answer 0. And if our, if our um, substance is only voids, it's going to be 1. And because it's only voids, the bottom will also be 1. Or it'll be 6 on 6 or 8 on 8, which will always give you back to 1. So this value ranges from 0 to 1. Okay? The E can be larger than 1. Okay? Or less than 1. This value can range between a whole bunch of values. But this one only goes between 0 and 1. Um, <clears throat> the saturation is given by capital S, which equals the volume of the water on the volume of the voids, which we can further break down as volume of water on volumes of air plus volume of water. Um, this value likewise ranges from 0 to 1. Okay, and the next thing we're going to be looking at is the moisture content. So the moisture content is given by little m. This should not be confused with mass. In soil mechanics, little m is moisture content, which is the